people have been talking about the end of two-party politics in Britain since the 1970s, actually, since the mid-1970s, when the Liberals started to do very well, and then they got the SDP, and, and by uh, the end of uh, Labour uh, in the 2010s, uh, the combined vote share of the two largest parties was down to about two-thirds. So we got to a point where about a third of voters voted Labour, about a third voted Conservative, and about a third of voters voted for somebody else. And we used to say that we had um, a multi-party system that was being repressed by the electoral system in the UK. And if the electoral system changed, then we'd see an explosion of parties. Uh, but then we saw in the last two elections, 2015 and 2017, voters going back to voting Conservatives and Labour. And for the first time we saw an upward trend in the proportion of voters voting for the two mainstream parties. But I do get a sense, and we do get a sense from, from the opinion polls, that, that although that, that's how it actually occurs in the elections and how it looks inside the House of Commons, in terms of in the minds of the voters themselves, the public are much more pluralist in their political preferences than actually the, what's reflected in electoral politics. So again, I think the ground is quite fertile potentially for changes in the British party system and who knows where we're going to be five or ten years from now. Mm -hmm.